Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I'm very glad that you are with us. So as always, we are going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm 107. And then we will be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. In reading Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his faithful love lasts forever. That's what those who are redeemed by the Lord say, the ones God redeemed from the power of their enemies. The ones God gathered from various countries from east and west, north and south. Some of the redeemed had wandered into the desert, into the wasteland. They couldn't find their way to a city or town. They were hungry and thirsty, their lives were slipping away, so they cried out to the Lord in their distress, and God delivered them from their desperate circumstances. God led them straight to human habitation, let them thank the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all people. Because God satisfied the one who was parched with thirst, and he filled up the hungry with good things. Some of the redeemed have been sitting in darkness and deep gloom. They were prisoners suffering in chains because they had disobeyed God's instructions and rejected the Most High's plans. So God humbled them with hard work. They stumbled and there was no one to help them. So they cried out to the Lord in their distress and God saved them from their desperate circumstances. God brought them out from the darkness and deep gloom. He shattered their chains. Let them thank the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all people because God has shattered bronze doors and split iron bars in two. Some of the redeemed were fools because of their sinful ways. They suffered because of their wickedness. They had absolutely no appetite for food. They had arrived at death's gates. So they cried out to the Lord in their distress, and God saved them from their desperate circumstances. God gave the order and healed them. He rescued them from their pit. Let them thank the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all people. Let them offer thanksgiving sacrifices and declare what God has done in songs of joy. Some of the redeemed had gone out on the ocean in ships, making their living on the high seas. They saw what the Lord had made. They saw his wondrous works in the depths of the sea. God spoke and stirred up a storm that brought the waves up high. The waves went as high as the sky. They crashed down to the depths. The sailors' courage melted at this terrible situation. They staggered and stumbled around like they were drunk. None of their skill was of any help. So they cried out to the Lord in their distress, and God brought them out safe from their desperate circumstances. God quieted the storm to a whisper, the sea's waves were hushed, so they rejoiced because the waves had calmed down. Then God led them to the harbor they were hoping for. Let them thank the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all people. Let them exalt God in the congregation of the people and praise God in the assembly of the elders. God turns rivers into desert, watery springs into thirsty ground, fruitful land into unproductive dirt when his inhabitants are wicked. But God can also turn the desert into watery pools, thirsty ground into watery springs, where he settles the hungry. They even build a city and live there. They plant fields and vineyards and obtain a fruitful harvest. God blesses them and they become many. God won't even let their cattle diminish. But when they do diminish, when they're brought down by oppression, trouble, and grief, God pours contempt on their leaders, making them wander aimlessly in the wastelands. But God raises the needy from their suffering. He makes their families as numerous as sheep. Those who do right see it and celebrate, but every wicked person shuts their mouth. Whoever is wise will pay attention to these things, carefully considering the Lord's faithful love. All right, and now let us join together in the reciting of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, he is spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, and let us now continue with the prayers of the people. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our presiding bishop, Raul, our own Bishop Justin, our pastors Sean, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, and all pastors, priests, and deacons of our Diocese of the Emmaus Way, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep abiding peace, and we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible circumstances. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems and who recently had a bad fall, Pam's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Minister Chapman, for Paula's sister, for Deborah's housing situation, for April's father-in-law's living situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Patricia's granddaughter, Americus, for Patricia and her family who are going through a rough time, for Anna Lee and her children who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer. For Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett. For Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment. For Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently. For Andy Wiedemann, who lost his mother Diane. For Cammie, whose husband passed away recently. For Vonda, who was recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. 
for Candace's daughter Nadia, who is facing serious health issues, for Candace, who has a multiple sclerosis relapse, and for Candace and all her children as they adjust to a new way of life, for Caleb, who is undergoing treatment for depression and anxiety and who is searching for employment, for peace and comfort for Sarah and her family and extended family who are grieving the loss of Jana, for Mia and Allie, that Allie might continue to eat well and gain weight, and for Tim, that his back surgery and recovery goes well, for Rose Burkhardt, whose husband passed away recently, for Kiri Bolger and her son Bryson, who lost the rest of their family to a severe storm, for William Hawes, who has brain cancer and multiple sclerosis, and for Virginia, who has breast cancer, for Abraham Taylor, who was born with a backwards heart, for Jennifer's friend Monta, who is going through a custody battle, for Valerie's friend, who has long COVID, for Anthony's husband Michael, who is going through health issues, and for Michelle's niece Abby, who has a concussion. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness. For Nikki while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day. For April's father-in-law as he starts a new job. For Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as her family adjusts to having Allie at home. And for Colton who is getting married this month. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Real, Diane, Jana, Michael Kinley and Owen Bolger, Melissa Baisley, Randy, and those in our community who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, you can go to rethinkfaith.org slash prayer to fill out a prayer request form. If you specify that the prayer request is public, it will appear here in the prayers of the people. But if you specify that it is private, I will only share it with the Journey's leadership team. But either way, you'll have people praying for you. And then, of course, please also send us updates so we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. <clears throat> and that's all I have for today. So to anyone who has been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.